Dr. Boyo is back and he's with me today. We'll be talking about the first aid for asthma attacks. You're welcome back to the studio, Doctor. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so uh, could we break down what asthma is in layman's terms? Yes, um, asthma is a disease that affects the, um, the lungs. We call, them, we call it the airway leading to the lungs. So in the airway, we have the bronchioles and the bronchi, big grammar for mm. the, the tract, the airway, the tube leading to the lungs. And so, in asthma, okay. we have a reversible constriction where the, this this airway just goes just narrows down mm. due to some allergy environmental factors or stress it just on its own you mm. don't need to have done anything to it it just on its own just narrows down and becomes difficult for air to pass through wow. so when you wow. breathe you hear what is known as a typical asthma sound called the whiz, the whiz. which is like <laughs> 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 Okay. which is a sign of the air you breathe in passing through a narrowed tube. It's like blowing the flute, okay. so you have the air. So it's because of this narrowing, and this narrowing is caused by three common things, allergy, okay. environment, and stress. These are the things that provoke as the, uh, the, the asthmatic sound and the asthmatic feeling. So you have the wheezing, you have cough, mm. You can have a runny nose with wow. asthma, wow. and it's always exacerbated by, uh, by exercises, stress, and these environmental factors. Okay, so doctor, for those who are living with asthma now, or maybe parents who have children living with it, mm. uh, what are the things they need to know to make, uh, okay, for first aid, the first thing they're supposed to do if they notice someone is having an asthma attack? Oh, well, as with every other medical condition, the first thing you have to do is to even find out whether it's asthma or not. And this may need you going to the doctor, Telling the doctor your story who examines you and listens to your chest and confirms that it's asthma because you don't treat yourself without knowing what you are treating. Okay. So at home, you could have what you call the um, home remedy. Okay. And then we have, um, because it's about environment and about allergy, mm. some people do well with a face mask when going through dusty areas are just I dust. Uh, okay. uh, yeah. yes. Dust and um, um, dust, smoke. Yeah. Um, perfumes and things like that. So people have different things they react to in asthma. And they have to learn that when you are going through a place that is dusty, or like in the Amatan A's and you have asthma, you may benefit from having this over your nose. Yes, yeah, fixed man. Okay. Yes. So this is easy to find in, Anywhere. Any uh, chemist in pharmacy. any shop. Yes. It can and so just that. basically cover, is it just the nose yeah. or the mouth and well, the nose? Well, the nose basically. But because the nose and the mouth are so close, mm -hmm. and people tend to breathe with their mouth sometimes. So it's good to cover both. All right. Yes. It's good to cover both. Then if you have this attack and you are wheezing, you could also use humidifiers. Okay. That means you could get a bowl with warm um, hot water, steaming water in the bowl, and you want to put a menthol, maybe any of these menthol things, mm. mentholatum or things like that, and put inside the water so that you could have the vapor coming out of the water and you inhale it. And at times it's good to put a towel over your head so you don't waste the vapor, so that it will come right into your nostrils and you take it So in. doctor, is there anything physically that I'm supposed to do if I notice someone is suffering from an attack? Is there a place I'm supposed to put them, a position they're supposed to be in to make it easier for them? What's, yeah, what in, do I in, do? In, yeah, in most cases, uh, you first of all ask the person, what, are you, what, what is it, are you asthma? Are, do you have asthma? Are you living with asthma? Mm -hmm. And the person says, oh yes, that's the first thing, because not everybody, someone could be having epilepsy, okay. for instance, and you think it's asthma, or could be having some other dangerous conditions. Once the person has admitted that, yes, I'm asthmatic, you can ask the person first, do you have your inhaler with you? Okay. The person brings the inhaler out of his bag or a bag and you get the person to do the inhalation okay. and in that case an in inhaler is just almost like this okay. and you tell the person to put it in his mouth okay. close his lips over it. and then pop mm. it in so i can inhale the corticosteroid in the inhaler it's just a drug in aerosol form okay. so you can just inhale it and get and get better then if it's somebody if it's at home you could quickly get hot water Put a, put a towel there and put it on the person's forehead so you could feel a bit lighter. Is it, it's a hot water towel, so it's a hot towel or a cold towel? Hot towel. Hot towel yes. on the person's head. What effect on, does that have? No, not, I don't mean steaming hot as to burn the skin. Okay. You have to be sure that it's, it's at a temperature that is tolerable. Okay. And you put it, it's, it's, it's um, 
most people with living with asthma tend to feel better when they are in warm environments okay. or when they inhale warm vapor, they tend to feel better. Doctor, what is this? On yeah, the this is a nebulizer. Nebulizer. Uh, yeah, okay. nebulizer. In more in a development country like ours, we like to use nebulizers that have batteries. Okay. This is electric powered because it's coming from the hospital where you have light okay. regularly. Mm -hmm. And there are smaller nebulizers that are for home use. Okay. And then you just connect the nebulizer to this okay. and then this goes to the nebulizer and then you there is a nibble. You have the you put it here. So the then there's is a drug. There's okay. a drug, you you break it in and drop it inside here. So when you put in the drug into this place here, mm. the, the drug goes so it turns the drug into aerosol form. Okay. So um, then you now put it back here and you switch this thing on. Okay. When you switch it on, the person living in asthma puts it in his mouth and by, by pressure the, the, the fumes come into his mouth okay. and he's able to inhale it or what we can now, now call it swallow it okay. and it helps to relieve him of the asthma because it's a steroid okay. and it makes the airway that that's constricted to relax so okay. he's able to breathe better. In Nigeria we have 50 million people living with asthma. Mm -hmm. All over the world about 368 million and 180 million, um, I mean 180,000 people die every year from this. Wow. So, and it always happens at night mm. when you're going, some people they react to stress, mm. allergens like falls, like dog, cats, when they shake their body, pollens in the air, when the rain falls and the wind blows, and then environmental factors. Who can stand extreme temperatures of cold or heat? Mm. Then maybe they get angry with their spouse and they go into an asthmatic attack. Mm. So because of that, asthmatic people living with asthma, I always advise to find out what you call the trigger factors. What triggers the asthma? And once you avoid these these things, you tend to feel better for a long time. It runs in the family. Mm. If your father has it or your mother has it, you will likely develop it. So you can, if you know your father has uh, lives with asthma, you now prevent those things you know you react to, like allergens, perfume, smoke, dust, or things like that. Maybe okay. remove rugs from the house. If your house, your, your living room is rugged, mm -hmm. you may want to remove the rug. You want to remove um, 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 maybe cottons, cottons that mm -hmm. are made of textiles, and you want to put another type of cotton that, that you don't react to. Mm -hmm. These are the simple home remedies. Then some meals, some people react to milk, mm -hmm. some people react to coffee, some people react to this. These are trigger factors. Once you avoid these and you mm -hmm. tell your spouse, look, um, I live with asthma. Mm -hmm. Whenever this occurs, make sure my hair is okay, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's up to date, and know how to use it effectively. Mm -hmm. And if you have other drugs, and finally, make sure you see your doctor. Okay. Keep your appointments regularly right. and make sure you see your doctor. All right, then. So uh, if, for instance, you know, uh, there's someone with a, an asthma attack and then none of these things are available. Yes. Uh, there's no inhaler, there's no mask, there's no nebulizer. Mm. What exactly can someone do to make this person feel, uh, you know, at ease? Oh, first of all, you, on, on, you, if you're wearing a tie, like what I'm doing now, yes. you loosen the button, remove okay. the tie, okay. open the windows, make sure there's uh, what you call natural air flowing around you. Yeah. If it's a fan, you can put it on. Avoid air conditioners in some oh, cases wow. because of the kind of air that comes from air conditioners. There are people that react to that. Okay. So you open the windows and get the person to get into a comfortable position. Either lie down, in some mm. cases, some people feel better when they bend down and put themselves on a pillow. Okay. They feel better that way. Okay. But try and make sure the person avoids any obstructive thing around the neck, a la I mean a necklace or a choker around the neck or things like that. Okay. So the person needs a, a, a an open environment mm. in a living room that every door, the windows are open so fresh air can come in. Okay, in the case of a child, yes. uh, where the child cannot tell you that they have asthma, or maybe mm. the parents hasn't even discovered that mm. the child has asthma. What do you think is the first thing to do? Now, you've not confirmed it's asthma, mm -hmm. but what is the first thing a parent can do? Well, first thing a parent should do is to ask yourself, do you have asthma? Mm. <laughs> and is there asthma in the family? So you can mm. easily know that your child has it because of the, of the, of the fact that it runs in the family. Mm. So you remove the dress of the, of, of the patient, of mm. the child. You put the child in, the same way you put the child in an open environment, you call the doctors. Okay. If it's in other advanced countries, when where one, two, two works in Nigeria now, okay. and seven, six, seven, mm. you know, works in Nigeria, you call the ambulance or you get yourself ready to go to the hospital mm. but meanwhile 
we don't use drugs on children without prescription okay. because first aid on children you must be sure of what you are treating mm -hmm. because children below the age of six rarely go into such attacks okay. so you are age of six months mm -hmm. so you want to be very sure of what you are giving home remedy for okay. so you clear the uh, you clear around and then you can clear the airway in some cases you can use a, a, a this um a, this um uh, extractors, just like a mucus extractor, from where the you nose. on the mm. nose, remove something from the nose, clear the nose, clear the mouth. Is it choking? Clear the mouth. Mm. And if it's swallowed anything that has held its breath, you can turn him around and make sure it, it gets the thing out. Okay, so uh, that's pounding on the yeah, back. I can pound on the back. Okay. Yes. So, All but right. if not, and as you are doing these things for a child, you are planning to go to the hospital. So you don't do them and, and stay at sit. home mm. and say you did home remedy. So you rush to the hospital rush as soon as you. But when you get there. We are, we, are, we are people living in asthma and family. Mm -hmm. Doctor, please check and you give your history. I can tell you, but when you get to the hospital, mm -hmm. always make sure that you tell your doctor your story. Your story is more important than lab investigations and any other thing. Okay. When did it start? How long has it been going on? And do you have anybody with such in the family? Thank you so much, Dr. Boyer, for coming to the studio once Thank again. Quite a lot of information we were able yes, to get out yes, there. Yes. But uh, the truth is, there's quite a lot of information also uh, that uh, we've been able to give out. If you have any questions, please send them to us online. Uh, we can always uh, notice them with the hashtag WakeUpNigeria.